World premiere. World there premiere. Things at stake than glory or vanity. There is purpose. You're right. Bro, oh, she's extremely hot. Still can't believe they gave her padded. He's gone. You're safe now. No, he got the data. Now no one is safe. Introducing Glimpse, our final rogue of year one. Supporting a play style that sports stealth, Glimpse is the result of 10 years of genetic engineering with one goal in mind, to become the perfect weapon. Now, she devotes her life to stopping those that made her. With camouflage that hides her from view and heightened senses to locate nearby enemies, Glimpse is built for stealth and to get the drop on her opponents. Now that we've revealed Glimpse, let's take a glimpse. That's lame as hell. I love it. <laughs> a new initiative we here at First Watch Games will also be introducing in our season four Glimpse update and continuing throughout year two. Let's got her backstory. Uh, give us a little bit of the lowdown on, on who she is. Yeah, yeah, she's I a, think, you know, she's uh, 125 max health. All rogues better not have 125 max health. A genetic experiment that didn't go Ooh, it shows, right. now, it shows two right. indicators for the nade now, too. She turned out incorrectly, it's because she had too much empathy. And so mm. her creators were like, well, we need infinite a ammo. Weapon. We need a lethal weapon that is going a semi -auto. to kill anyone that we want. We can just sick on him. But unfortunately for them, Glimpse turned out to have a soul. Which is a good thing. Yeah. The end of the day, you know. Um. And so now, afterwards, glimpse. Beijing go invisible. Kind of looking for her captors and trying to seek revenge on everyone who did her wrong up to this point, uh, which was what brought her into Mexico, looking for her captors, to where she ran into Guava. Um. And now here we are with uh, glimpse entering the Roco universe uh, with this release. About her gameplay, obviously you see on screen uh, both a friendly glimpse and an enemy glimpse. And uh, what does she look like when she's invisible? If she turns blue whenever she runs. This is to kind of give you a, a good idea uh, of what she looks like at sprint speed. But there's a couple of little uh, levels of nuance there. Um, when you're invisible as glints and you're moving around, whether you're sprinting, whether you're walking, whether you're crouch walking, will all influence what you look like to the enemy player. So we're getting a good uh, look, she's sprinting around. She's, you know, kind of a, a shimmer. She can kind of see there's the effects going on. You get a decent idea of where she's at um, and, and where you can shoot and, and hopefully make some connections and do some damage. She's literally a wraith um, of Rogue Company. You're moving at walk speed. <clears throat> You're going to kind of lose that VFX. You're going to be a little bit harder to see. Still not completely invisible. It's not until you either stand still or start to crouch walk that you will turn completely invisible. So it is possible, but it is going to cost you some movement speed to do so. And that's kind of the fun part about this character is, is making those decisions and popping in and out. This yep. isn't a cooldown based ability. This is more of Wait, a Wait, this area looks want to think about in here. Is it just me? an energy meter. You can remain invisible. Uh, for as long as that energy meter uh, will last. Taking a little bit of damage actually drains that meter faster, so that's kind of some elements of counterplay baked in there uh, for the enemies. Just like I wonder if she's still invisible while she's diffusing. Um, I've also got what you can hear. If you're not playing mm. with your headphones on and your sound turned up, you're not doing it right. There's a <laughs> lot of audio stuff driven for this character. You'll hear kind of these low rumbling tones, something you've never heard before as she starts to get close to you, when she goes into stealth, when she comes out of stealth, as long as you're kind of within a, a decent range of her, you're gonna be getting a lot of auditory information um, that's gonna try and help you either locate or just be aware of her presence. And then of course, with the, at the moment when she comes out of cloak, that's gonna play some noise. You're gonna get some UI and kind of letting you know, like almost like a grenade indicator of like where she is and which way you need to, to turn and get ready. Um, that's kind of the biggest right. balancing point for her is how long that takes. So she's gotta play a little bit of an animation to come out of stealth before she can get her gun ready and start to shoot you. That is your window uh, to try and find her and counterplay. Love it, is the passive. Nick, uh, this is probably one of our stronger passives that we've ever done oh, yeah. and also one that fits uh, this character unbelievably well. Talk to me about this passive. So the passive is called Heightened Senses, and it is just that, you know, as a genetically uh, modified person, 
it, it's kind of like a spidey sense in a way. You're the lady that sneaks up on people. This passive is going to help you prevent being snuck up on yourself. Um, think of Glimpse as, as somebody who, who has this otherworldly sense about her, whether it's you know, hearing someone's breath or feeling their presence through a wall or something. Periodically, you're going to kind of get these pulses um, that if an enemy is close enough to you behind a wall or something like that, you're going to get a little bit of an indicator as to where they are. And then that indicator is going to fade until your senses kind of uh, reevaluate your situation. So periodically, you're going to kind of pulse the area around you um, and just kind of get these soft directional areas that are indicating enemies are nearby for you to play around um, now, and use that information how you will. Will you get multiple arrows from multiple does, enemies yeah. or is it just one? Okay. So it's as many enemies that are around you, obviously up to six, 6v6 is our biggest game mode. So you could get potentially uh, six arrows on your screen. The audio is going to kind of... That's crazy. Bro, they literally that, added six cents combat. as a perk. Um, I mean, in and out of combat. They, this, the um, perk six cents they added as an uh, what's called um, so basically ability. All this is, it's, it's passive, faster, more kinetic, whatever that's called. Um, smoke grenade that almost in the sense that like a Semtex doesn't require a backboard or it can be placed pinpoint. That's kind of what this is, but for the smoke grenade family. So you kind of throw this thing and the second it makes contact um, with a surface, it's gonna explode and live right there. So this is really good for like, if you're on wanted, kind of where we just were in those little cantinas. Pop smoke you grenade. You wanna smoke out a window, but you don't have a great angle or backboard. You can kind of just hit the window. So right beneath that window where someone's looking and it's gonna kind of- uh, Nice, out from that's kind of cool. So anywhere, wall, ceiling, floor, wherever this smoke makes contact, that's where it's going to spread from. Uh, the point of contact is the center of the sphere. Uh, so kind of placing those appropriately. They're very quick, doesn't have to bounce, doesn't have a very long, it doesn't have a fuse time at all. And these can be used to escape. These can be used as a normal smoke. Um, again, it's, it's all about versatility and flow and making decisions. Uh, when it comes to Glimpse's kit and what you want to do with the tools you have available to you. And I think this helps sort of bring some of that yeah. uh, right tool for the job situation um, to the Smoke family. Again, I'd compare this closely to probably like the Semtex grenade of like, you don't need that backboard. You just kind of put it where you want and you rock and roll. You can That's see, right. obviously she's got the Nightshade um, assault rifle here. This is something that you're going to find uh, on your Phantom, on your Vi. Um, like we mentioned, our making of panel earlier, she's kind of um, almost has this sisterly bond in a way with Phantom is, is that they have this kind of common thread uh, that they come from these genetically engineered facilities. Um, so they have this kind of same tech. Obviously, you know, Bro, all rogues like, actually have 125 health now. Nightshade on the way out. But <laughs> all in all, the gameplay here is, is that she is a relatively close range character. AR, SMG. She's going to start with the Nightshade as well as the Night SMG. Obviously, for those of you that have those weapons mastered, you'll be able to kind of swap these bad boys in and out and, and play her and kind of customize that as you wish. Um, and we encourage you to do so. But obviously, we wanted to kind of start her off um, in a spot where she does have that AR and that SMG gameplay. The Night and the Nightshade are two of the closer range uh, ARs and SMG. So that's where you're going to be kind of wanting to play with her. This is a, a nice little skin we've got or you hot off the press basically as soon as the character releases this will be available the old sanguine assassin here a little bit of a different i love the red on her yeah i love the red really in the hair and on her i think it's uh the these first skins that the character releases with we just our team keeps doing a much better job with each one yeah. and this one really sings for me the perks let's do it let's go yeah, through let's some of these the perks all right and so obviously you know we shifted around nimble hands is in, in a recent update nimble hands went from a yep. 5k down to like a 3k uh, what perks really are you looking to run on this character? What, I would say <clears throat> if I could have yeah, if I could have baked it into the kit and it wasn't a perk already, I probably would have. Um, Hunter was actually designed for Pumpkin originally in, in that theme of like, you're really aware, you can't be snuck up on, you have all this information, what do I want to do with this? Um, and we actually thought it would work really well on Umbra too, so we kind of accelerated it to make sure it got out in time for Umbra's release. Uh, but I would say uh, Hunter, Padded Steps, and Life Drain. Obviously, a big Life Drain guy. Big playmaker here. <laughs> um, padded Steps is, is very important because, you know, we talked earlier about how fast you move indicates how visible you are. So whether you're sprinting, some t I wouldn't advise sprinting while you're invisible, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Sprint, if, yep. if, you get, if you get found out, if you get shot, um, 
even if you're crouch walking, if you get shot, as soon as you take damage, the worst, most visible level of stealth is applied to you. So even if you're crouch walking, when I take damage, I'm going to be fairly revealed for a little while. Um, so that might be a good time to sprint. Otherwise, I think you should be crouch walking. You should be regular walking. And this was a character that I wanted to use to drive home the fact that we have this walk speed in the game, that it does matter, that you can, this padded step perk synergizes perfectly with it. It's this in-between sprint and crouch walk decision that you can make where you're pretty invisible. You're not totally yep. invisible, but you're completely silent with padded steps. So you have a lot of, uh, I think, wiggle room there. When you're not making sound, you'd be surprised how little people are really aware of you and they may not be thinking about your presence at all, which means even though you're a little bit visible, they may not even see you because they're not hearing it. Their brain's not telling them to, to look over there. Um, Wait, five, six, and seven have stuff now. Oh my god. I want to take this risk of, of being a little bit faster and walking here, but I might get found out. Um, that's kind of what I would, would advise. And obviously, we've got the mastery rewards for her. This is a very flowy character, very graceful. Um, so her mastery emote kind of reflects that. And, uh, you know, this is this is your, this is is the track. This is what you guys are working for as you master Glimpse. I love that one. You are. I actually oh. really love the, the, the banners, the borders, the avatar for her. Really, really cool stuff. Big fan of uh, of all of that. Um, also, obviously, awesome mastery stuff kind of along the way. Wait, what um, is it? Whisper on the Wind title is, is oh. out there waiting at the end for those of you that work your way all the way up. And spoiler. Mastery reward. We gon' turn the crib into a club like Hennessy and Buddha screaming thug life. Get it, baby, you know I'm the plot right. Bucking got a feeling that it's gonna be a long night. I touch turn cold Need no introduction Cause they know Bring it more I hit the lotto My model Roll up gelato And throttle A couple models To Kyle Who fucking brought up The bottle From gone ham This ain't even luck All planned Y'all know who the fucks I am Burning bucks Smoke bands Always been the MO Since the start of this And now I'm on a mission Like I'm Artemis Hey